here we got Justin Horn and Tate Phillips. Tate Phillips is fighting out of reality MMA here in Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, I'm not sure who uh, Justin's fighting out of. I can't, uh, can't remember. Bouncing around. Oh, Tate goes oh. for a double leg. Oh. Horn is trying to pull an arm in guillotine. Oh. Doesn't look like he has it. No. He's lost it. Tate's got Tate's. him against the cage. It's really going to be hard to get a guillotine from there. There he goes, working the ground and pound to the body. He's got the pass guard to work a little bit more. It looks like Horn's working for a triangle now, trying to control Tate's wrist. There he goes, working some more ground upon the body, posturing up. Horn's doing good to control his head. Yeah, Horn's trying to go for, a, for an arm in or something. <clears throat> Looks like he's trying to work that triangle hard. Yeah. He's really trying to control Tate's right wrist, yeah. trying to stuff it in between his legs. It's like he keeps rotating his hips. Trying to get them hips out, but it's really hard to get his hips out when he's up against the cage like that. Yeah. Tate Phillips is doing a really good job of holding him on the cage. It's really going to limit the submissions he has available to him. Uh, there they go. Passing. Oh, Horn tries oh. to sweep him, and Tate Phillips takes his back. Tate Phillips flattening him out. Oh, he's got he's it sunk in deep, too. He's also he's getting his other hook in. He has to get both hooks in. Flatten him out. Oh. Tate Phillips has both hooks in. Got him Horn's flattened out. It. Tate's got to be careful not to burn oh, himself out. There he is. He's going for the for the Captain America, going for the figure four on the body lock. Tate's got to be careful. Oh, oh full mount. He's escaped. And now Tate's got full mount hitting him in the chest. Head and arm. Going for the head and arm. He needs to get his shoulder a little bit lower. It looks like he's not going to get this. No, he's not going to be on that one. Yeah, he really needs to get his head lower on one shoulder to get that, that uh, arm triangle. People don't realize that, man, those body shots are doing damage. Yeah, they really know. work. Plus, they get him off his guard, make him put an arm out. Really going to make him work his car here. Yeah, it's going to really. Horn's trying to buck, but he's really not offering much resistance on the bottom right now. Tate's going Tate's for the arm, arm bar. Oh, and he loses he the arm bar, but he keeps mount. That's the most important thing. You don't want to lose a position trying to get a submission. Looks like Tate's going for the key lock, key lock. for mount. Oh, and he gives it up. Looks like we're going to go into the second round. I got this round easily, you know, scored. Tate Phillips, 10-9. He really controlled the round, and he took him down right from the very beginning. No standing strikes were landed. Tate controlled him the entire time. Tate went for all the submissions. Yeah, that's got to be a real real uh, confidence breaker, you know, to go in there first round, get taken down from right from the get-go, mounted the whole time virtually. Let's see if he comes out and, you know, tries to put up some good takedown defense in this round. If he can keep the fight standing, you know, maybe he can gain an advantage to see what this Justin Horn is going to do in the second round to change things up. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe he'll do some stand-up. Uh, yeah, he did real good getting out of that stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. really good. Tate has some – that arm bar looks sunk in and that choke. He was going for yeah. what I like to call the Captain America Captain version. Captain America, yeah. And, uh, he, he spun right out, man. Did real good at keeping Tate's hooks out. All right, here we go. Round two. Justin Horn standing really straight up like he's not even afraid of the takedown. He's not bent at all. And Tate Phillips takes his back from standing. Well, he might get dropped from here. Oh, and Tate oh, yeah. slams him down. Big slam. It wasn't above his waist, so it's not illegal in amateurs. Most slams are illegal in amateurs. And Justin Horn has spun around. And Tate has a backwards mount oh, going for a straight leg lock. Uh, it looks like he has lost the straight lost leg lock. And now Tate Phillips is on the bottom. Looks like Justin Horn is. Oh, uh, he's standing oh. back up. He wants to Stand keep up. the fight standing.
Tate's going back in for another takedown. It looks like those body shots really did work. Justin Horn oh, yeah. doesn't look like he has a lot left in the gas tank at this yeah. point. Tate's going for another double leg. Lands yeah. right in guard. He's got to avoid this, this guillotine that Justin Horn's putting on, but not much resistance. Tate's right back out. Tate Phillips does have the dominant position, but as his coach is saying, you know, he needs oh, yeah, to work. He there he goes. Pass side mount. Throwing some, knees. some devastating knees. Killer body shots, man, with the knees. Really takes it out of you. You can see Horn. He's he's breathing through his mouth. He's uh Man, those are some bad knees. I'm <sighs> just hurting me over here. He's he's got to work. He doesn't want the rep to stop it just from body shots alone. Yeah. But uh, no ref's gonna sit there and let him eat them knees like that. No. Justin Horn keeps reaching up over Tate Phillips' mm. back, and his corner's telling him to put that arm back down. Back you want to you keep what we call prayer hands, because if yeah. not, he can get arm barred that way. Plus, the elbow oh. absorbs there some goes of those Tate knees. Tate Phillips, the mount, working the body shots again. He's going to be looking for an arm. They're really close to this cage. It's going to be really hard for Tate Phillips to actually get an arm ball. Yeah from here because that cage is going to stop his foot from swinging over one way and his body swinging from the other. Yeah. He's got him out, but can't really do a lot. Justin Horn's doing good at stifling his uh, offense right now. He's scooting up. Got a high mount. Either arm bar or a triangle at this point is what it looks like. It's, right. he, Tate Phillips doesn't want to lose a position. Bar, yeah. He's so close to that cage and he flips oh, around to the other oh, side with this side. arm bar. He's got 15 seconds. Let's see if he can hold on. Uh, no. He's trying to spin out. He's trying to spin out. He's got 10 seconds. Oh, he, yeah. And Justin Horn, it looks like he's going to fight this arm bar off. He's doing everything right. He hitchhiked out. Looks like we're going into round three. Oh, that was a really, really tight arm bar. Yeah, he's, but Justin uh, Horn fought out. Horn's still on the ground. He's done some serious damage that round with those heavy knees and the ribs. That last arm bar. Another second, he would have tapped on that. Man, that was really tight. Man, Tate Phillips still looks fresh. You know, I mean, he may have damaged his arm on that one. He may not even be 100. He's not going to be able to use that arm like he should in this next round. Let's just see what he does. If he, you know, if he's going to start trying to defend these takedowns, and even if he starts, is he going to have enough gas to defend them? Tate, man, Tate, Tate, an exciting amateur fight. Yeah. Things off. Tate is like a, a monkey out there jumping around. You know, he he just like doesn't give out. He's running around. He's ready. He's over there, ready right now to, to go back to them. Which we could hear what they were saying in these corners. Oh yeah. Horn, Horn's, Horn's not needs, looking too excited about he this. He needs this a round. knockout, a TKO, a submission. He needs to end this fight now to win this fight. Tate needs to keep doing what he's doing. He can win it a unanimous decision or easily finish this round. Yeah, Horn's got to finish on this one. There he goes. He's Horn's looking. throwing some big shots. Oh, but just gets taken dropped again. again. Tate with that body lock. This has been yeah. the story of the night. Tate and his body lock and taking him down. It looks like Horn's throwing some good body shots from the bottom. There he goes, gets his head out and avoids that guillotine. Tate's listening real, real good to his corner. You know, his corner's hollering hollering uh, instructions and he's picking them up and doing exactly what they say. They understand that, you know, this is the last round, this is the last three minutes. And they, they'd love to have a finish. Tate is just going to kill the body shots. Nobody wants to the judges because you never you know, know what you're As much get. as we see that this was a one-sided match, the judges could totally call it a different way. In a lot of cases, I understand, but I don't think any judge is going to see this one any differently. I don't either, but not to take anything I've away seen from some you. before that were just like, oh my God. Are you serious? It's like Tate's going for an arm bar again. He has one arm trapped with his knee and oh, yeah. he's stepping over the other side. He needs to pinch them knees together. When he goes to that arm bar, he really needs to pinch his knees together to really keep him from sliding his head right out. And it looks like Justin Horn's gonna evade another submission. He has really good submission defense. Oh, this is tight. He has him flattened out. This is really tight. The ref's really close. He's waiting to step in there. Tate's pulling with everything he can. 
Horn is either really strong or has really good submission defense because he keeps getting out of these submissions. Tate needs to let go of that wrist and hug his arm to his body. If he would hug the arm, he could really get his hips in there. There you go. Come on in for a triangle. Richard Cox is up to take to go back to the arm. It looks like he's done it. And this is really tight. He taps. And Tate Phillips is our winner. Tate Phillips round beating that arm. Third round with an arm bar. Trying all night, all night, and finally gets the submission. You know, these two good guys come out here and fought hard. Tate Phillips is just the better man on this night. That was a good, that was a really good amateur fight right there. That was good. Really good job with jiu-jitsu defense by Justin Horn. Who evaded Justin countless Horn, man, he got out submissions. of everything, dude. That arm is going to be so beat up tomorrow. Uh, you know, it's going to really That's suck. That's tiring sitting there just defending yourself all the time. It's very tiring. It's tiring to attack. So, really good job on the cardio of these guys. You know, come out here and give everything they got. Second amateur fight. We got third Brad. Or, well, well, the first one's gonna be you were in it, so yeah, it's jujitsu. Yeah, you were the first one. <laughs> this is the second one for you. Yeah, here we go. They touch gloves. Coming out striking. Oh man, they're throwing some big bombs here. Maybe both of these guys are strikers. Oh, both of them throwing some stiff jabs and nice leg kicks. Yeah. Brad Horner's on switch from Southpaw back to Orthodox and slipped by Jamie Taylor. Brad Horner's really working his jab. Keeping Jamie the shorter fighter at bay. Looks like Jamie wants to get on the inside, but these jabs, he's popping them really fast and a nice teeth. 